today i will share with you some very serious nakshatra secrets i will deliver you from candy nakshatra knowledge to taking you to serious nakshatra knowledge one thing is very important that you should understand nakshatras gives nourishment planet enjoy nakshatras so one thing is extremely clear planets are the representation of your psyche inner being mentality whatever you say planets are different aspect of yourself nakshatras are generally taken as women so let's talk of without any relationship kind of stuff nakshatras are the wives of moon and all these nine planets are the guests these nakshatras are female a house is owned and ruled by a female this planet go to the house of different nakshatras and whatever type of treatment they have there enjoyment that they have the type of food that they enjoy based on that these planets become happy angry and feel dejected you know feel elated and all of these things happen and as the planets feel they make you feel the same way this is how you should understand nakshatras right so planet goes to a nakshatra they enjoy or do not enjoy the particular nakshatra and whatever the result is that result they deliver to you so out of all of these nakshatras some nakshatras are good some nakshatras are bad basically speaking a planet when they go to a bad nakshatra they are going through bad experience they have visited a home and in that home they are having a bad experience because they are having a bad experience whatever area they signify based on their natural signification and based on the signification that they have by lording different houses of your horoscope that is dependent on your ascendant in those areas they will make you suffer on the other hand when the planets enjoy a particular nakshatra they will make you enjoy in the areas that they signify for example a planet in pushya nakshatra and good nakshatra like pushya nakshatra sravana nakshatra hasta nakshatra dhanishtha nakshatra they are enjoying and they will make you enjoy those particular things that you are having in your life to emphasize the importance of nakshatra i will tell you that see you know capricorn is taken as a bad sign but what i have found that the planet in capricorn for the natural signification of the planet it can be bad but for the house lordship of planet it is actually very good in fact when you look closely to it it seems like that planets in capricorn rashi are into a problem but when you talk of the result of the planets it is actually good for example venus in capricorn one may think that this is a bad venus and this person will suffer related to the significations of venus in life that is not reality of course after marriage after marriage one does not suffer the bad results of venus but yeah if you don't follow the path of dharma and if one tries to have extra marital affairs and all of these things then the venus in capricorn will be bad why a planet in capricorn does not give you the ultimate suffering it only makes you suffer when you are not following the dharma not otherwise because the nakshatras that fall in capricorn shravan dhanishtha these two major nakshatras are good nakshatras auspicious nakshatras so planet is enjoying here and you will enjoy related to the signification of planet provided the fact you follow the dharma because nakshatras are as i have told you nakshatras are female and females are very much dharma oriented one can get all the happiness from a female if they follow dharma and one can get scolding you know anger have to face the anger of women if one does not follow dharma this is the particular reason the one who tries to destroy the dhar- destroy the dharma can be forgiven by shiva can be forgiven by vishnu in some cases right can be overlooked by them but devi punishes all of them anyone who is going even 1% against dharma even if they are the biggest devotee of devi still they will be 
attached right so when you follow the dharma so basic point that i am here trying to make that the result of planet as per nakshatras if i cannot say if i cannot say the word is supreme then i should say it is something that you should always take care of if you don't pay attention to the result of nakshatras it will be a big problem to you in your analysis and there will be great chances of fault now talking of nakshatras why i told you delivering you from the candy knowledge this was about planet in nakshatras and you know i have talked a lot about nakshatras so you may have known the nature of nakshatras by far but 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 when a bad person enters your home when a really bad person enters your home it can disturb the lady in the home also a nakshatra can also get afflicted the problem in astrology is that as we divide the houses with significations planets with significations where we take the concept that these planets and these rashis rule a particular facet of the planet and these houses rule a particular facet of our life we don't do the same with rashi and nakshatras we just do some little bit of work regarding that we have not signified which life areas the nakshatras and the rashi signify this is very important this is a very important work to be done and in this regard i will be guiding you with this video so first of all you should understand which nakshatras are afflicted and then based on the nakshatras that are getting afflicted in your horoscope there are some very clear predictions that can be made and some very clear understanding you can gain and then you should work towards amendment you should work toward getting the lesson without going through the suffering and as you get the lesson without going through the suffering the karma will cut down and then there will be more enjoyment and less suffering in your life that is the particular purpose of astrology you will learn a lesson after going through punishment astrology teaches you that take the lesson before so that the punishment is not there the punishment of karma inevitable it is told in scriptures like a calf can search his mother in the herd of cow a karma can search a person to whom it belongs in the herd of people on this planet earth point number 1 any rashi any rashi sorry any nakshatra which is having a malefic planet you know what is malefic planet right saturn rahu mars etc any nakshatra which is having a malefic planet is a afflicted nakshatra point number 1 to nakshatra occupied by sun nakshatra occupied by mars nakshatra occupied by rahu nakshatra occupied by saturn are the afflicted nakshatras whatever these nakshatra signify there will be problem related to those life areas point number 1 specifically if there is a retrograde mars in your horoscope then the nakshatra where this retrograde mars sits that nakshatra is highly afflicted even the nakshatra where ketu is situated in is also a very afflicted nakshatra and lessons related to these nakshatras that nakshatra you have to learn and whatever that nakshatra signify there will be problem related to those nakshatras not only this the next nakshatra and the previous nakshatra for example if sun is in bharani then the next nakshatra is krataka and the previous nakshatra is ashwini these nakshatras are also 35% 35% afflicted so this also you should take care of nakshatras virguleek mandi dhuma vitipat parivesh upaketu indracha apakal mrtyu ardhayam yamkantak are placed they also have very very important you know regarding nakshatras like like in normal astrology what happens the all the houses are important all the planets are important but regarding nakshatras only the nakshatras occupied by planets are important others are not 
because these are not those essential things that happens in everyone's life. Right? But only the nakshatras occupied by the ascendant and the nine planets and this gulik etc. are important. So this is in total of 20 nakshatras which are important out of 27. And if you don't have a habit of using Dhumi, Vitipata, Parivesh and all of these subplanets is equally very important and find adequate mention in classic books. Then your nakshatra knowledge and your analysis using nakshatras will be scanty. And then you will be forced to use things such as nakshatra falling at the middle cusp of a house, etc. Et all of these things. But whatever. <clears throat> in this also, the nakshatra occupied by Dhuma, the nakshatra occupied by Parivesh, the nakshatra occupied by Gulik, Kal and Mrityu are also afflicted. These planets you can easily find in your Jagannath Hora software. If you just go below all the, just go below the screen where the planetary degrees are written. On the other hand, the nakshatras occupied by moon, nakshatras occupied by Mercury, nakshatra occupied by Jupiter, nakshatra occupied by Venus, nakshatra occupied by Yamkantak, nakshatra occupied by Ardhaprakar. These nakshatras are good nakshatras, flourishing nakshatras, whatever these nakshatras indicate, you enjoy those things in your life. Enjoyment is there. Right? So this is a very basic point which you have to carefully see in each and every horoscope, specifically your own horoscope. Regarding those things that you are there to enjoy, you can be confident that these results are going to come only, no need to worry. And regarding the nakshatras you are afflicted, quickly learn the lesson and make your life better. So what these 27 nakshatras indicate in your life, how do they manifest is what I am going to talk. First and foremost, the first nakshatra that is there is Ashwini nakshatra. It is ruled by Ashwini Kumar. Yes, you heard it right. It is ruled by Ashwini Kumar, not Ketu. It is ruled by Ashwini Kumar. This nakshatra indicates health, longevity, authority, Raja Yoga. So if there are good planets, Jupiter, Venus, in Ashwini nakshatra, you will enjoy good health. There will be longevity. You will enjoy authority. You will enjoy Raja Yoga. But there is a karma also. Ashwini nakshatra indicates a strong attachment. Ashwini nakshatra indicates that towards something, wealth, wife, child, homeland, motherland, some preconceived notion, etc. There is a very strong attachment in the mind of the person which will stop his emancipation, which will stop him from progress. This is the lesson of Ashwini nakshatra that you have to learn. On the other hand, if there is a malefic planet is situated in Ashwini Nakshatra, health-related problem will be there. Longevity, <clears throat> longevity is again health-related problem will be there. One will not find authority in life, you know, the his his uh, contribution will not be appreciated. He will not get reward equivalent to his hard work. And the manifestation of Raja Yoga becomes difficult, right? So from the next nakshatra onwards, I'm telling you the traits. And I think that you're smart enough to distinguish how this, this will mean, uh, how this will manifest when a benefic planet is there and how this will manifest when a malefic planet is there. The next nakshatra is Bharani nakshatra. Bharani nakshatra indicates discipline. So you want good results from Bharani nakshatra, discipline have to be there. Good planet is in Bharani nakshatra, person have discipline. That's why he will, they will succeed in life. Malefic planet in Bharani Nakshatra, because of lack of discipline, there will be problem. Blemishes. Blemishes, false acquisition is given by Bharani Nakshatra when malefic planets are there. On the other hand, person lives a clean life if there are benefic planet in Bharani Nakshatra. Regarding moon, there are conditions when a moon becomes weak. From Krishna Ashtami to Sugla Panchami, moon is weak. So moon of this time, if it is goes into Bharani Nakshatra, it should be considered as an afflicted moon. On the other hand, when Lagna Lord is afflicted in the company of a malefic planet, under the aspect of a malefic planet, in that scenario, because Lagna Lord is afflicted, Lagna should also be considered afflicted and the Nakshatra and the Ascendant, the Nakshatra and the Lagna should also be considered as tenated by a malefic planet. Getting punished without any fault is a trait of Bharani Nakshatra when a malefic planet is there and getting reward 
getting rewarded not because of what you have done but because of what your parents have done is a trait when bharani nakshatra is occupied by a benefic planet following the dharma is the trait of bharani nakshatra with benefic planet not following the dharma going against the dharma going against the set notions trying to justify all your wrong doings as your own neo dharma is a bad trait of bharani nakshatra and specifically bharani nakshatra strongly indicates a desire of wanting a company this can be a company of anyone but the strong desire of wanting a company of a friend of a partner or of anyone is the karma of bharani nakshatra when benefic planet is there this wish is duly fulfilled one gets a very good company when malefic planet is there one does not get a good company because of which one suffers loneliness and in the want of getting a good company they can go into relationship with many bad people many wrong people which then can be problematic kirtika nakshatra which is ruled by agni indicates dharma benefic planet following dharma malefic planet not following agni is the commander in chief benefic planet one is given a ruling position malefic planet one is humiliated by those who are in ruling position or position more powerful than the person kirtaka nakshatra malefic planet makes you timid kirtaka nakshatra benefic planet makes you god fearing kirtaka nakshatra when malefic planet is there does indicate that person gets punished in life by standing with truth kirtaka nakshatra having benefic planet indicates person gets rewarded in life because of standing with truth and kirtaka nakshatra gives you internal conflict when benefic planet is there this internal conflict helps you become a better person when malefic planet is there this internal conflict makes you dissatisfied in life and forces you to leave a lot of things rohini nakshatra which is ruled by brahma indicates lust lust which leads you into many unsatisfactory relationship when malefic planets are there and lust <clears throat> easily fulfilled by life partner and the couple living happily together when rohini is tenanted by a benefic planet loss of power or gain of power so i will talk in a negative sense right so remove the repetition right you can convert it into positive so when rohini nakshatra is tenanted by a malefic it does indicate loss of power loss of power without any fault of yours benefic planet gain of power without any specific work of yours just because of you right making new things making new things and giving it to the world introducing the world to new things revolutionary technology is also indicated by rohini nakshatra power authority which becomes curse in your life popularity which intrigues into your privacy is a problem of rohini nakshatra the power of speech the power of influencing people by your speech or the power of hurting people by your speech the power, the thing of having enemy because of your speech is a trait of rohini nakshatra getting neglected is what malefic in rohini nakshatra does people neglect you and the person being shy person being shy to show their abilities because of that person remaining underdog for a lifetime not getting proper stage not getting proper appreciation is a negative trait of rohini nakshatra when malefics are there mirgashira nakshatra indicates longevity malefic planets are there it gives bad health mirgashira nakshatra indicates strength malefic planets are there makes you weak mirgashira nakshatra indicates fame malefic planets are there gives you defamation mirgashira nakshatra indicates power malefic planets are there it makes you powerless anyone can challenge you you are always at the verge of losing your power you are challenged always every time mrigashira nakshatra gives winning makes one winner over everything malefic planets are there then even any person can come and challenge you and can beat you up can take your position lot of uncertain uncertainty regarding power is there in mrigashira nakshatra lust is indicated by mrigashira nakshatra confusion in life is indicated by mrigashira nakshatra being flabbergasted by the mean motives of others 
is a trait of mirgashira nakshatra the approach the approach of thinking that everything is fine in love and war going towards any extent even breaking your dharma to win someone or to take revenge with someone is a trait of mirgashira nakshatra when benefic planet is there person thinks everything is fair in love they can go to any bounds to secure their love and they live a happy life together when malefic planet is in mirgashira nakshatra it does indicate that in fight one can go to any extent one can even go to adharmic ways which end up in problems for mirgashira people adra nakshatra indicate auspicious things in life when malefics are there in adra nakshatra everything in auspicious happens the blow of fate is such bad that a very good person that a very deserving person remains unappreciated in life because of fate tapas pinans detachment is also indicated by adra nakshatra when malefics are there one suffers in life because they are not able to detach themselves from the bad being cruel with words but soft by heart is the trait of adra nakshatra when malefics are there when malefics are there one is cruel with words because of which they lose family members and friends whereas when benefics are there in adra nakshatra one is very soft by heart right having many guardians many people to guide you godfather says indicated by adra nakshatra malefic planet in adra nakshatra even your parents don't guide you they don't teach you what is good or bad because of the lack of guidance people commit a lot of mistakes in life upholding dharma even going against by the will of your own people is a trait of adra nakshatra when benefic planets are there you are appreciated because of it when malefic planets planets are there you are criticized because of it getting things in little amount in scanty amount and the person left wanting for more that he never never gets in life is a trait of adra nakshatra when malefic planet is there this becomes the reality whereas when benefic planet is there then the want of more after getting things in scanty little bit of amounts makes the person innovator forces them to go out of box do some extra work and achieve the utopia punarvasu nakshatra ruled by aditi indicates one being abundant indicates an abundant place which is being renovated but this place have a past which haunts the renovation when a malefic planet is there in a punarvasu nakshatra even after multiple attempts by the native to do good to achieve success in life nothing good happens but when benefic planets are there in that particular scenario from bad things from bad consequences one is saved by the blessings of god punarvasu nakshatra specifically indicates the tendency that in want of creating something one create devils also one creates those things also which are detrimental for himself when malefics are there when benefics are there then one creates those things which benefits the native at a later point of time for example malefic in punarvasu nakshatra one purchases a property which is under litigation so in the want of purchasing a property one have purchased litigation whereas when benefics are there then one purchases a property just because just you know because of not without not with a very particular motive but later on they come to find that it can become very useful to make a hospital or say something for public uses which benefits them the mixing of the water of river with the sea getting the highest getting the greatest by losing your identity is the trait of punarvasu nakshatra losing your identity for the betterment of the bigger one giving your giving everything that you possess for the welfare of the world is a trait of punarvasu nakshatra pushya nakshatra is very auspicious but is repetitive also when benefics are there only auspicious things happen in life auspicious things related to what related to the signification of the benefic related to the house which the benefic owns benefic planet owns and related to the house where pushya nakshatra falls when malefics are there repetitive things happen so you say seventh lord malefic goes to pushya nakshatra multiple marriages fifth lord 
Malefic goes to Pushya Nakshatra. One have to attempt multiple times to complete his education, but they cannot. Pushya Nakshatra is also nourishing. When Malefic plant is there, it nourishes bad, bad tendencies, bad habits, which later on become problematic. Pushya Nakshatra is benevolent to the whole world, but not to his own members. Pushya Nakshatra indicates the best teacher whose students cannot even get 1% of the greatness of his own teacher. Pushya Nakshatra indicates a saint who have had a very cruel past. When Malefic is there, this past never, haunt, never leaves the saint and drags him back to the sinner past. Whereas when benefics are in Pushya Nakshatra, it does indicate that it is a sinner who transforms to a saint and lives the life of a saint, uplifting himself and uplifting the one around them. Asalesha Nakshatra indicates attachments. Asalesha Nakshatra indicates drinking poison always for the betterment of your loved ones. But, but because of own weakness, Asalesha also spills the poison occasionally, hurting his own family. Asalesha is the trait where 364 days you want to save your family members, but on the 365th day, you lose your patience and destroy all your hard work yourself. Negative trait of Asalesha Nakshatra. Being self-enemy, being self-destructive is a trait of Asalesha Nakshatra. Destroying your own belongings, having enmity with your own family members, with your own wife, with your own children, to please others, to save friends or society is a negative trait of Asalesha Nakshatra. Prosperity, wealth, and having a devoted life partner is a positive trait of Asalesha Nakshatra. The fight for throne, the politics of power is Magha Nakshatra. Fulfillment of wishes after fulfilling someone's condition. Getting power after serving someone for almost whole of your life is what Magha Nakshatra stands for. Magha Nakshatra gives very good result if you follow dharma but punishes you very badly if you follow the path of adharma. And whatever the Magha Nakshatra gives you, that you have to pay back. If Magha Nakshatra gives you wealth and you do not donate, that wealth will be snatched away. And it will not be snatched away in a financial loss, but will be snatched away in a disease where you have to give the wealth back. Along with that, you have to lose your health also. So Magha Nakshatra indicates a great punishment if you are not grateful. This is how Magha Nakshatra plays out. All these traits that I have written for this Nakshatra are strictly based on my experience. No scripture, no classic, no shloka, nothing at all. This is what I have seen working. Purva Falguni indicates too frequent change. When benefics are there, these quick changes makes the person quick successful also. When malefics are there, these quick changes makes the life very unstable. A very problematic, a very painful loss, a very painful sacrifice to get something which you can also otherwise get, which you can also otherwise achieve, is also a trait of Purga, Purva Falguni Nakshatra. A bad barter, where you lose your gold in turn of a copper utensil, is the trait of Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Getting opulence and prosperity in life at the cost of family, happiness, solace and peace is the trait of Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Uttara Falguni Nakshatra negatively indicates instability. It indicates the last enjoyment before complete destruction. That means only the starting part of life seems to be good, whereas in later part of life, there are hardships. Positively, it indicates selfless nourishment to the world. And the lesson of Uttara Falguni Nakshatra is the gain and happiness that comes after taking some very cruel, very harsh steps in life. Hasta Nakshatra have the approach of do it yourself. Hasta Nakshatra tells you that everything you have to do yourself, there is no help whatsoever. But the good thing with Hasta Nakshatra is no matter how many problems are there, internally there is peace, satisfaction and contentment. But the negative trait of Hasta Nakshatra is person is cursed to, to be of a particular type the person is cursed to have a particular tendency, have a particular habit, 
that no matter how strongly they want to change, they cannot change. They are the servants of their habit. They are the servants of their trait. Fame, superiority are the positive traits of Hastana Kshatra, but producing unworthy things, producing things which are not useful at all, producing demons, producing negativity is a bad trait of Hastana Kshatra. Remember, bad trait will be activated only when there are malefic planets. Chitra Nakshatra indicates creating strange things. In the wish of creating something good, one have created a destruction. In the desire to create something very legendary, the weight, the loss, uh, sorry, the waste of resources is what a negative chitra indicates. Whereas a positive chitra will indicate that with very few resources, person makes a great masterpiece. Negatively, chitra nakshatra indicates the creator who is not happy with his creation. It indicates an architect. Chitra nakshatra person can do everything, but because he is neglected, but because there is no one to boost his confidence, there is no one to show confidence in him, he remains underdog. Chitra nakshatra indicates being old and alone, with no one to actually care about you, but everyone around you showing fake care is what Chitra nakshatra is. Swati nakshatra, according to me, indicates the precious drop of life in the midst of destruction. The ray of hope which gives you the courage and the power to change everything. Swati Nakshatra also indicates the pain that cuts through every enjoyment and makes you sad in the midst of those things which others take as something where there is complete enjoyment. Swati Nakshatra does indicate a weeping person in the midst of a marriage where everyone is happy. There is a piercing pain in the heart of Swati that does not let it enjoy. Lot of unrealized power is a trait of Swati Nakshatra. When a benefic planet is there, one will ultimately enjoy this power and will achieve great heights in life. When malefic planets are there, all this precious power and learning will go useless because there is no one to show confidence, there is no one to help the native take the first steps. But Chitra Nakshatra indicates happiness and enjoyment at the end. Negative Vishaka Nakshatra indicates a lot of responsibility, lack of freedom, being in bondage. It does indicate coming together of two great friends to achieve great things. But these two friends alone cannot achieve the same thing. Vishaka Nakshatra is the need to have a partner where the person, no matter how hardly they want, how strongly they try for it, but they cannot achieve things which are easy. Easy for everyone else to do. But Vishakha, have this lesson, have this teaching that you will have to take help of someone under all conditions. The inner conflict, the most important person, the doer, the key person, being forced to stand at the second step, whereas the winning trophy is given to someone else, less competent the misery of Vishakha Nakshatra, which happens when malefic planets are there. Anuradha Nakshatra indicates the loyal follower. Negative planet, the person remains the follower. Positive planet, benefic planet, person have a lot of loyal followers. Dying with the king, dying with the loved one is positive planet in Anuradha Nakshatra. Have to die for the loved one, for the happiness of loved one is malefic planet in Anuradha Nakshatra. Getting things easily in life, benefit planet in Anuradha Nakshatra. Finding even the smallest happiness difficult to achieve is malefic planet in Anuradha Nakshatra. Social worker, the helper of mankind is Anuradha Nakshatra. Malefic planet in Anuradha, even for the smallest thing, such as purchasing home, purchasing vehicle, one will have to take help, loan, etc. The one who keeps promises is Anuradha Nakshatra. Malefic in Anuradha Nakshatra because of the person wants to keep his promises, but because of one issues or the other, which one cannot help about, they cannot keep their promise. And because they cannot keep their promise, people think that they are non-dependent, though they want to do it, but they cannot. You see, it is the pain where the father wants to give the toy to the child, but he cannot give because of financial issues. This pain is Anuradha. 
Jesta nakshatra also indicates the lots of responsibility. It indicates that one, the things that one have achieved all by themselves, they cannot enjoy it alone, but they have to share because they have a lot of responsibility of those people who are just responsible on them. Corruption that comes with power is a negative trait of Jishta Nakshatra. Whereas positively, Jishta Nakshatra indicates lot, lots of authority, lots of power and a devoted life partner. Mula Nakshatra, when it is negative, indicates luring, lure, getting lured into negative tendencies, lust. And a god who became a demon is a negative Mula Nakshatra. Positive Mula Nakshatra is a demon who by his penance and hard work have raised to the level of God. Positive Mula, positive Mula Nakshatra, beneficent Mula Nakshatra person have alchemy to turn sand into gold. Negat malefic planet in Mula Nakshatra person, whatever the person touches, he gets destroyed. And then Mula Nakshatra sucks the life force, the positivity from the person, making the person very negative. Malefic planet in Mula Nakshatra, the person is always complaining about things only. Not realizing their power, wasting all their mental power and wasting all their mental capacity only in criticizing other people, thinking bad of other people. Purvasada Nakshatra indicates the happiness before peace. Malefic planet in Purvasada Nakshatra, one only dreams of the happiness. Benefic planet in Purvasada Nakshatra, the person keeps on enjoying the happiness and peace. Balance is indicated by Purvashada Nakshatra. All encompassing, friendly to all is indicated by Purvashada Nakshatra. But negatively, Purvashada Nakshatra can be very easily polluted. Highly susceptible to bad company, very sensitive to water influences. Purvashada Nakshatra does indicate a person who is highly influenced by conditions, who is highly susceptible to politics played by people around them. And generally, when malefics are there in Purvashada Nakshatra, people around Purvashada native this Purvashada native who is having malefic in Purvashada Nakshatra are plotting against him who he is not able to identify and because of which he suffers. Uttarashada Nakshatra indicates the happy memory of the enjoyment that you had. Benefic planet in Uttarashada Nakshatra, you keep on enjoying and the time when you are not enjoying, you are happy with the memory of the previous enjoyment. Whereas when the malefic planet is there in Uttarashada Nakshatra, you only have the memory of how much you enjoyed. Whereas in life, there is a lot of suffering and one have to be satisfied only with that. Rulership of the world, replacing the most powerful person is positive Uttarashada Nakshatra. Negative planet, malefic planet Uttarashada Nakshatra does indicate that you are the powerful person who is getting replaced because of no fault of yours. Just by fortune, being very lucky, being very fortunate is a positive trait of Uttarashada Nakshatra. When malefic planet is in Uttarashada Nakshatra, one is very unfortunate, very unlucky. Shravana Nakshatra indicates the best manifestation of intelligence. Malefic in Shravan, worst manifestation of intelligence. The manifestation of intelligence for plotting, for doing bad to others. The second runner of the second runner made winner by the by luck is benefic planned in Shravan. Malefic planned in Shravan, the Winner because of politics being pushed to the second place. The Sattva balance is benefic planet in Shravana Nakshatra. Lot of Tamas is malefic planet in Sattva Nakshatra, Shravana Nakshatra. The power to uphold everything, the power to keep all your promises is positive Shravana. Having proper balance between enjoyment and spirituality is positive Shravana Nakshatra. Having compassion is positive trait of Shravan Nakshatra. Protecting everyone, being able to protect everyone that comes to seek your refuse is the positive trait of Shravan Nakshatra. Nourishing everyone, giving good advice to everyone, doing good to everyone is the positive trait of Shravan Nakshatra. Dhanishta Nakshatra positively gives you power of wealth, gives you all types of enjoyment that you can think of. But when Dhanishta is having a negative planet, when Dhanishta is having a malefic planet, one is cursed. One is cursed because of enjoyment. One is so much into enjoyment that they, that they do not remember the responsibility. It is like someone 
who sits at who sits at a who sits at a bar to drink alcohol and after some time becomes unaware of his family members does not remember of coming going back home but want to sit there the one who is into enjoyment who tries to like who wishes to go into enjoyment to escape from their responsibilities negatively dhanishta nakshatra indicate that one person who have done something who have accumulated something his accumulated things are snatched away from it and distributed to many people many unworthy people who have done nothing in the achievement but things are getting shared to them just because of luck is a negative dhanishta nakshatra for example say you make something you make a property say suppose malefic planet in dhanishta nakshatra what will happen some person who did not help you in making the property he was just into enjoying life was not responsible at all after some time when they have seen that you have become very prosperous they will lodge a police complaint or anything over you court case etc and then will get a share in that property also so people enjoying your things your achievement without any hard work or contribution of themselves is a negative trait of dhanishta nakshatra making one powerless making one weak making one feel helpless is a negative trait of dhanishta nakshatra complete dedication complete devotion to the godhead high faith you know very strong faith in god and the help of the god coming to the native also and changing his life also is a positive trait of dhanishta nakshatra upholding the truth is a positive trait of satvisha nakshatra punished for truth a negative trait of satvisha nakshatra the highest tapas the highest penas detachment are the positive traits of satvisha nakshatra lots of attachment being into lots of materialistic pleasures problem of management are the negative traits of satvisha nakshatra having a very devoted and beautiful life partner is a positive trait of satvisha nakshatra loss of power and position is a negative trait of satvisha nakshatra one who have all the resources of life all the resources that one wants in life is a good trait of satvisha nakshatra bad trait of satvisha nakshatra is when one wants to do something highly motivated is there ready to give his 100% cannot do anything because he is not having the resources the utmost most basic essential resources he is not having and person remains unsuccessful not because he does not want to work but because he did not have even the basic things that are needed which are available to everyone is not available keeping dharma standing by dharma is a positive trait of sadhvisha not standing by dharma being into a lot of a dharma is a negative trait of sadhvisha nakshatra punishing people is benefic in sadhvisha getting punished is malefic in sadhvisha the peace of penance the happiness of devotion the reward of dedication is positive trait of ajay kpada nakshatra purva bhadra prada nakshatra not being able to control things even after trying your best not being able to create balance even after trying your best not being able to keep of peace in your family or in yourself in your mind is a negative trait of purva bhadra prada nakshatra which comes out when malefic planets are there uttra bhadra prada nakshatra indi uttra bhadra prada nakshatra when malefic are there makes one go under a lot of responsibilities because of which one cannot enjoy anything in life it makes one shadow of another person malefic planet in uttra bhadra prada nakshatra indicates that in your life some elder brother some mother father is such a great personality such a great personality that even after doing your 100% best you cannot surpass them and because you cannot surpass them because you are being unnecessarily dragged into a competition you are being undervalued because of that particular reason the person have a daily humiliation and slowly slowly starts feeling dejected and worthless in life doing great sacrifice is positive trait of uttra bhadra prada nakshatra subdued anger bursting bursting as a bomb subdued anger 
turning into a very heinous crime one day is negative planet in uttara patra pratma kshetra the calmness that one gets after control of senses benefic planet in uttara patra pratma kshetra the negative results of suppression of senses sense desires malefic planet in uttara patra pratma kshetra peace after enjoyment was benefic planet in uttara patra pratma kshetra the want of more which makes the person ultimately addict and destroy everything that he owns is a malefic planet in uttara patra pratma kshetra getting nourishment benefic in revati not getting even the basic necessities malefic planet in revati the neglected child malefic planet in revati the happiness of materialistic enjoyment benefic planet in revati nakshatra not getting even the basic materialistic enjoyment such as a good sleep malefic planet in revati nakshatra having great fortune being very prosperous living a happy life specifically as you grow in life life becomes better young age is better than childhood age old age is better than young age is benefic planet in revati nakshatra whereas life going on a downturn childhood is best young life lot of struggle old age life alone in problem is malefic planet in revati nakshatra motivating others nourishing everyone that comes to seek your help nourishing everyone that comes to seek your help basically means you can help your friends also family members also all your relatives and all of that is when there are benefit planets in revati nakshatra one not being able to do things because there is no one to show confidence in him there is no one to motivate and because of this his ability his capacity is going for a waste is when a malefic planet is situated in revati nakshatra right so these are all the 27 nakshatras in a nutshell this is nutshell because dealing in depth with every nakshatra at least need half an hour one hour per nakshatra only then you can understand each and every nakshatra in detail but i think with all of those videos that i have made on nakshatras you have understood nakshatra very well if not go watch those videos again and based on the principle that i have taught you today good planet in a nakshatra gives good result for that nakshatra bad planet in a nakshatra gives bad manifestation of the quality of that nakshatra based on this principle read a horoscope and this will give you those insights which you cannot find otherwise and without this nakshatra based analysis of horoscope making even a single prediction on horoscope is a careless approach towards astrology